We lead at home. We lead in the community. We lead at work. Leadership is not just for the highest educated, the people with the highest title, the richest or the most famous. It is for everyone. Everyone can make a difference through their leadership. Let me give you the five F's of being a change master leader in the 21st century. What are you going to have to do? How are you going to have to act? So when you're fast, you can move quickly. <clears throat> when you're focused, each person knows how to do their job. When they're fluid, it moves quickly and flexible to handle the various needs of the customers and the constituents. And then the last is to be futurized, to always, always, always have your eye on the future. Fast, focused, flexible, fluid, and futurized. Those are the keys, that's where it's going. We all lead by example. Everything you say, everything you do, sends a message, sets a tone, or teaches people what to do or what not to do. We are never not modeling. Let me say, when you go out and you meet somebody new, and Tom, you go and it's a social uh, situation and it's a group of people maybe you don't know, and we shake hands and you say, I'm Sheila, and you say, I'm Tom. Tom, and, and, and what is the first thing after the greetings people say to each other? How you doing? How you doing, and then? I don't know. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Maybe that's third or fourth. But see, I whispered to him, but he knew that. We all say, what do you do? What do you do? Well, what do you do? And if the example of you say, hey, I'm a select comfort pro. I help change people's lives. They go, whoa. Now, there's all kinds of PR. You were talking about how you want free advertisement. You're it. an era of incredible change, unprecedented change. We have never ever as a society and as a world gone through so much change as those of us that are here today have recently. Change, we live with it every day, we know there's change in business, but there's also been change in our personal lives. You know, we um, had a national census here in the United States recently, and I saw a little clipping in the newspaper that talked about it. It said, in the most recent national census, it counted one million more women than men who are separated from their spouses. And it went on to say, well, that's either a mistake or there are about a million men who haven't yet noticed that their wives have left. <laughs> I don't want to touch that. I don't know what that means about, <laughs> about the men or the women. I just know that we have gone through so much change. We should also, as a leader, know what to defend against change. There are some things in this world that are worth defending against change our morals, our ethics, our values, those things that make you as a human being, an individual, what you are. Those are worth defending because if we lose that, we lose our very soul of what we are. has changed so much in the last two or three years, we have to look at business differently. And customer focus is about being emotionally and personally connected with the people that we're interacting with. The real key about it is whenever we're dealing with someone, it's moment by moment, person by person, issue by issue. And if we can get that focused, what, a, what results you will get. One of the ways that you give this extraordinary service is to give value added, to be a value added person, a value added organization. But I want to give you, let me give you the five ways. There's only five ways that you add value. Is you do it new, you do it differently, 
You do it better, you do more of it, or you do it faster. What we want to do is we want to create ambassadors of goodwill. What kind of stories are people telling about you and the service that you give? Marshall Fields, who started the Marshall Fields department stores, he said that your customers that have wonderful experience and that spread the word are the most valuable people in the world. He was talking about, he said, we spend a fortune attracting new customers, and then we don't pay enough attention to ones that we've got. We're very technically excellent, but we're becoming humanly challenged. We're forgetting that one of the nicest things that Jules can say to me is, thanks, Sheila, or something. Thanks, Sheila. You're welcome. <laughs> And you know, it doesn't have to be a big deal. It just can be a hand on the shoulder. Hey, Reggie, I'm really proud you're with us in this store. You made that customer feel really good. Even if you didn't sell the bed right at that time. Hey, they may be back, but from what you did, we're going to get referrals because you were really good today. Ladies and gentlemen, be committed. Commitment is what's going to make it work. Be a hope giver. Build people. Make people understand that you are in the life-changing business, that you make a difference. It has been a true honor and a privilege to be with you. I look forward to seeing you at lunch. God bless. Thank you. Thank you so much. Zowie, wow, wonderful. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Sheila Murray Bethel.